Hello, Sky fans. My name is Tyson Fury. I am the Gypsy Warrior. I am from my mother, and I'm a fighter. <laughs> no. Uh... Right. You've never fought a Gypsy King before, have you? You've never fought a King before. You're looking at one of your pals, me. You know, characters are for cartoons and movies. This is reality. Call me a clown! Fools! Clown! Clown! Common sense in boxing, if you want to be noticed, you've got to do outrageous things and controversial things. People ain't remembered for the great fights they had. It's the controversy surrounding the fight most of the time. Listen, I'm the man in these shows, me. There's no other anyway, apart from me. There only ever has been me. If you're going to be a boxer, you need to be a notice one. And to be a notice one, you've got to do different things. What are you going to do or say that is going to make you different to the rest? And for me, it's just been my outspoken personality, not really caring the consequences of what I say. And everything I say, going in there and backing it up. Klitschko is getting KO'd. You know, when you've got two very vocal fighters... I'm going to make you eat your words. And one's unbeaten and one's a glamorous division, then it's definitely going to make for a, a fight that people's interested in. This is a Tyson Fury show. Forget about him, he's a nobody. Welcome to my city, welcome to my town, UK, baby. Hey, hey, hey! Sky's just turned up today asking us, uh, can uh, Tyson come in? Everyone's made up, like, big buzz, like, you know what I mean? All the lads working away, like, <laughs> so we're having a uh, real good buzz. Oh, what, what sort of stuff do you want me to come out saying? Mate, your... The floor's yours. Floor's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I've got shown you what I wrote. It's all so, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. You know, <laughs> if you want to... Look at that. That was quite good, actually. Young, good-looking, beaten and stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's the usual chap. But this first one, you don't have to say anything. Uh, address Vlad, walking, walking first person. Vladimir, you're this, you're that. Are we going to put you right, mate? You sort of come out, out, of, the, out of the shadows, into, yeah. into the light. Yeah. Just keep him out. Yeah. Just keep him out. No. That's why I'm a fighter, not an actor. Sometimes I'm a fighter. Sometimes I act to be a tough guy. Yeah. Sometimes I act to be a tough guy, though. And I also act to be a good boxer. Talk to him like he's listening. Vladimir. Talk to him like he's listening. Oh, Vladimir. Action, Tyson. Vladimir, you're 40 year old. How can you beat me, 27 year old? You're getting knocked out, mate. I'm the man, I'm the king. You're going to sleep. You're a fool. A has been. An old man. Oh, he loves it. He should have been a movie star, shouldn't he? You know, because he loves this more than boxing, I think, you know, but it's one of them. It's interfering with his rest period, you know what I'm saying? But now, it, these next few weeks are very important, and it's timing, precision and everything, and he should be resting now. But things have to be done, don't they? You've got to do a job, and he's got to play his part. It's all part of the same thing, isn't it? But we could do it being over as quick as possible, to be honest now. Boom! My outlook on the boxing is we're not actually going to fight until we're both in the ring, exchanging leather. Until that day, I'm just training for a supposed fight that could happen. I remember just calling up the um, travel agents saying, right, book me a ticket to Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> and then the next day, I went over to uh, the Cronk gym and just turned up out of the blue. And it was like, I walked into the gym and uh, it was like, what are you doing here? Who are you? So I said, listen, I said, I've come over to train with Emmanuel Stewart. I said, I'm Tyson Fury, best heavyweight on the planet. Within five minutes, I was back at his house. Unplanned. You'll get knocked spark out, Vladimir. Oh, million percent. Yeah. <laughs> Boys, get together quickly. Cheers, guys. You just told me you weren't an actor. I've just seen you turn it on big time. <laughs> you know, I'm a dark horse. I'm an underdog. I can do a bit of everything, I suppose. There's not much that I can't do. What can I say? Some people like me and some people like to hate me, even though they've never met me or don't know me. It's just the, um, the cocky, arrogant, confident person who, who, who doesn't believe that anybody can beat him. 
when you've got that persona about you that nobody can beat you, sort of like everybody wants to see you lose because I told you so. Everyone can get beat, but you know, as long as you believe that you are unbeatable, I believe you will be unbeatable. I don't know what's going on in here. It's become a circus. <laughs> this is all part of the job. It's uh, we still managed to do our regime, and they've managed to work around us. So uh, Sky Team has done brilliant. We still got our work in. It's not affected us at all. We've done what we had to do today, and now um, we'll get on with the 12 rounds of sparring. They'll train Monday to Friday, three times a day. Saturday, just a long run in the morning, up the mountains in Windermere, in the Lake District, which he enjoys. And then that's it, then he'll go home, he'll rest up all day Saturday, all day Sunday, back here, ready for Monday morning. I think a lot of people will buy into this fight because I think they believe Tyson Fury is he's similar height to Klitschko, he's unknown goods, it's an intriguing fight. And if anybody can do it, Tyson can do it, and I think people will pay to see an upset. There's no pressure on me in this fight. I can only do what I can do. I'm only a man with two arms and two legs, just like he is. And if he can beat me, he beat me. If I can beat him, I beat him. There's no big, great shakes about it. You can build a fight up into something that it really ain't, but really what it is, it's two men made of blood and bone in a boxing ring punching each other. Okay, it's a wrap. It is a wrap. We're getting out of your way. Take shower now, Tyson. Take shower. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't take your guts out with that speech. <laughs> <laughs> you can't look past Klitschko because he is the best in the division. Klitschko's the man. They're saying he's one of the greatest heavyweights of all times, and I can't argue with that because, look, he's, he's had so many successful title defences, but he's fighting someone who's been boxing all of his life and, and knows about the sport, knows it inside out. And who ain't frightened of him? I ain't frightened of Klitschko. I ain't, I ain't bothered about getting it. I've been it before. So what? I've only done two sessions today. So. Murder. Murder sparring. Boom! Nothing works when it's all in slow motion. Where do you think I'm getting all these flowers? On a scale of one to ten, I'd probably give that a three. For the one for getting in the ring, two for strapping on the gloves, and three because of the night ground, but nothing more, nothing less. Oh, he has a power, he has a style, he has a really irritating style. A uh, real style that moves around a lot. And he's real cagey too, he can really get into your head. It's like uh, the gypsy power, I guess. <laughs> it is what it is. Just got to work it out, you know, just got to keep going and keep getting through. That's it, really. Try not to get knocked out, basically. That's it. The big guys swung in hard punches. I never really thought I was any good or bad at boxing. I just done it because I like to do it. Decided that I was going to have a couple of amateur fights or whatever, and it just went on from there. I had 36 amateur fights in total. Lost four. Knocked out 26. But boxing for a plastic cup or a medal doesn't really tickle my fancy. It's all about getting paid for getting punched in the face. Ah! I've earned me shot, so I'm going to take it, and I have probably deserve it more than anybody out there in the heavyweight division because I fought three world title eliminators and numerous champions and stuff. So, who deserves it more than me? Nobody. I'm mandated by two organisations, WBO and WBA, mandatory number one. So, I'm here. I'm ranked. I'm where I want to be. They've done about 50 minutes uh, running up here. You can see the type of road they're running on. Every minute they've got to get down, do burpees, squat throws, star jumps. So we do it with them till they get to the top. 
it's, it's very, very grueling. You know, there's no harder work than this, especially after five days, three sessions a day, five day a week regime. Now, this is a Saturday morning, and believe me, this takes everything out of you. But we're not training for no ordinary feet here. We're training for a trench warfare. You know, we want to know we've covered everything. You know, we, we've got a lot of history with this place. At the bottom of this hill now, this morning, I've got my brother's gravestone being made, and I'm going to see the final touches of it. So when I go back down from here, I'm looking at that gravestone to get my brother's stone up. You know, we're from this northwest. You know, in this Lake District, all special memories for me. You know, a life without responsibility, a life of just roaming around without, without worries about how you look, what clothes you're wearing, what car you're driving, how you're going to pay your bills. How, what kind of life would that be? These are just here, roaming around this beautiful nature reserve, eating grass, drinking fresh water. Does it come any better, really, when you think about it? Because this is just natural beauty. Uh, I love, actually, no matter how bad I feel all week, yeah? I don't care if I'm crawling off that canvas and I'm busted, eyes are swollen, everything. I come here and it just gives me that much lift and boost. This is my favourite part of the week, actually. Getting up early in the morning, five, six o'clock, getting down here and getting out there. Now, he'll go home now, he'll relax with his family, have a nice 24 hours rest, 48 hours, whatever it is, and uh, back Monday morning. I've had two uncles train me. That's it, properly. I've had my uncle Yui train me from the beginning, up until I was the British and Commonwealth champion. And then after that, I, um, Peter trained me. Strangers and me don't work. I couldn't work with any other trainer than my own family because I just don't listen to them. We're not interested in who's getting what percentage and whatever. We're in it to win it. We're not Peter's and meat. It's me uncle, it's me cousin, it's me, it's me own family. Everybody wants me to win. This is the man who was responsible for getting in where he is today. In there. Listen, that's what blood's for. You don't forget. Don't forget your family here. And he needs uh, full credit for everything he done. I learned to be a professional boxer with Yui. Went from being an amateur slapper inside the glove hitting to turning knuckles down properly and sitting down on the shots to become a professional fighter, basically, rather than jiving and jabbing, scoring points. Yeah, he made, he made, he made me the, the transition into the professional ranks and uh, it was very successful as well with you. And things like this make you appreciate life even more because sometimes you take it for granted, you complain about this, that, and like I said up on the hill before, we ain't got no problems to complain about. There's people out there in, in worse estates than any of us, so no matter how down you get and how sad you become, there's always somebody worse off than yourself, isn't there? So you just take every day, one day at a time, and enjoy it. Uh, I believe he'll be there with me in spirit, and uh, we'll do it, and we'll win.